Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I wanna say, hey, why don't you just click that subscribe button and become a member of the community because I provide videos that are gonna help you advance your career in business improvement. So if you wanna advance your career, why not just click that subscribe button? If you are a returning subscriber as always, thank you so much. Now today in this video, I wanna talk about how you can become a Kaizen expert. And not just a Kaizen expert, but a Kaizen expert that companies really want to hire. And there's some key things that you gotta know. So without wasting any time, let's just get to it. First step in becoming a Kaizen expert. Now there's a lot of steps and I've narrowed these down, but the first step that I think is really important is learning how to use the tools in the toolbox that are available within this skill set. Now here is where it gets a little tricky. There are a ton of tools that uh, one can use to facilitate a Kaizen. There's a SIPOC process maps, I'm looking at my notes, VSM, theory constraints, there's planning tools that you can use, team facilitation, soft skills you gotta understand, eight ways, Ishikawa's, there's tons and tons of tools. I just wanted to mention a few here. Um, and you gotta know how and when to use these tools. That can be overwhelming. I completely, completely understand that. And that's why I think that uh, it's important that you are gonna follow some of these other steps that I mentioned in this course. It can take years to learn how to do this and certainly that's a viable uh, option to just dig in and learn and try and fail and keep learning and trying and failing until you become an expert. That's sort of the route I took, although I did have uh, some coaches and mentors at the Japanese company, I'm sure that if you've been part of this channel long enough, you know exactly what I am talking about because I talk about those mentors and coaches a lot. Um, but that's the first thing, learn how to use the many tools that are needed. The second thing that you can do to become a Kaizen expert is to start small. Listen, you wanna start with something called JDIs. These are called Just Do It. I provide a lot of information in uh, the Kaizen Expert Masterclass. I provide a lot of detail on how to do a JDI and how to start building up your skill set. It does two things, it builds up your skills, that's one thing, and teaches you the tools we just talked about because uh, that's obviously a key step we need to do is learn all the tools and how and when to use those. But it also builds up your confidence levels. As you get better at the just do it, you start to build up a confidence and it prepares you for the blitz or the events that you might want to run later. So always start small and build from there. Three, and this is something that is not talked about a lot and it's something that you're going to run into over your career if you haven't already, and that is create what you need. Number three is create what you need. When you want to become a Kaizen expert, sometimes you're not going to have the tool that you need in the in, at the time that you need it and you must create that tool. I've done this so many times over my career uh, and sometimes it's, it's a point of, you know, I create waste for myself. In other words, there's a tool I might need and one comes to mind is calculating tag time, cycle time and, and allowable time and all of this. And I usually go into Excel and I create the spreadsheet and then sure enough, I either delete it, don't save it, go away. And then, you know, three months later, I need that tool again, so I create it again. And so what I did was uh, I went out and created a tool that I could use always. And it's a simple tool that has uh, exactly what the inputs should be. And then it automatically calculates cycle time, lead time, and your attack time. And then tells you, um, you know, the things you should be doing. And it really follows three questions. Uh, and those questions are what can or what should you be doing? And this is based off your customer demand and attack time. What um, can you do? And this is based off, hey, in a perfect world, if I didn't have any inefficiencies, what, how many widgets or whatever it is, how many of those can I produce in a perfect world? And then what are we doing? And this is the same question as a previous question, but it's really asking the question in a way that shows the inefficiencies because what are we doing says, hey, this is how many parts we're producing. The great thing about the form that I developed is you go in and put the actual number that you're making down or you input the number of widgets that you're currently able to produce and it sort of backfills in and tells you what your cycle time uh, is and where you're missing your targets. And so that is a download that uh, is available in the Kaizen Masterclass as well because it's just some one of those things I created and it's needed and you know I wanted to provide that to the students that wanted to get in on that on that masterclass but that's something you have, you're going to have to do you're going to have to create what you need when you need it number four find a coach or mentor um, most training programs I've discovered leave you hanging after you go and get the training uh, there's no when you can call or contact, right? And in smaller companies, it's even worse because often they don't have anyone that you can speak to. They don't have 
uh, people that are experienced in, you know, Kaizen. So you can't really ask questions to them. And so what normally happens is they'll send someone out to Kaizen training. Uh, that person will come back and then they'll expect that person to know all the ins and outs of a Kaizen, and then that's just setting that person up for failure. So if you can get coaching externally, it's great. The problem with that is, is that it's expensive. How do I know this? Because I coach and mentor folks, and um, and I started off doing this for free years ago. It got, it got to a point where I couldn't do that anymore because it was taking time away from my family and work and all that jazz. Um, so I had to start charging, and that's worked up to about 250 to 350 an hour. Um, and it just depends on what the person needs uh, and how complex uh, the coaching is. So um, I know that can be expensive. So getting a coach or mentor um, is, is important, though, because it really speeds up the process, the learning process. And it's no secret that getting a coach or a mentor is going to speed up the learning process. Right. I just I mean, obviously, this is logical. That's what happens. Again, not being able to afford it, it being really expensive. What do you do? Well, I've, I've covered that inside the Kaizen Masterclass because there's a link. Anyone who gets into the Kaizen Masterclass also uh, will be automatically put right into the Business Improvement Mastermind membership. And I know I mentioned a membership a few weeks ago in, in, a, in one of these videos, but I created a membership site. Uh, it's kicking off now. It's, there's a few videos in there, but not much uh, in the masterclass, or sorry, in the membership, but it's really gonna kick off in 2022. And inside that master um, mastermind membership, there's gonna be coaching calls with you all. That way I can coach multiple people. Um, it's not taking up much time, it's free. Um, and yeah, I'm going to provide as much as I can in that, in that master mastermind membership. And you, you get automatic access when you buy the masterclass, the Kaizen masterclass, but inside the Kaizen masterclass, there's 50 videos. There are a lot of videos in there. Um, and a lot of downloads, which cover a lot of what I'm talking about today. So, but that's what you want to do. You want to find a coach or mentor, and then that leads you up to the next part, which is document your successes. Anytime you win, you want to document that, right? Because it's going to do a couple of things. One is going to help you when you're trying to beef up your resume. You can put those successes on your resume. But you can also go back and look at those, uh, the documentation as a reflection point or as, as a reminder for future events, right? If you're getting ready, getting ready to do another Kaizen, you can just go back and look at the past Kaizen's that you've done or the past successes that you've done. And it'll spark, trust me, it will spark a lot of thought. There's probably some things that you did in, you know, in the heat of the moment with the Kaizen's in the previous uh, events that you had done. And you're like, oh, you know, I forgot about that. Yeah, I might, I might be able to use that tool in, in this uh, Kaizen. So always document your successes. And, and that comes with documenting sort of the process of the Kaizen. And number six is to continue training. And again, this is another one of those things that can be really expensive to continue taking training classes and things like that. Kaizen Some Kaizen courses uh, cost between $800 and $1,500, depending on, you know, if it's face to face, um, but, but what, or online, uh, but they're all really, really expensive. But what happens if you get the training? Uh, well, you go to the training and then you go back and you start using the tools or trying to use the tools and trying to do Kaizen, but you don't have anyone you can call, anyone you can reach out to. There's no there's no continuation of training unless you take another course. And of course, that costs more money. And I would argue that it's worth it. It's worth it if you can find a good course or a good training program because all companies need two things. They need uh, to improve, constantly improve, and they need to solve problems because they all companies have problems and they need people that know how to strategically and tactically solve those problems. And Kaizen covers both of these. It, Kaizen teaches you how to improve and solve problems. And so that's why folks that are experts in this field are so sought after. Continuing to learn is something that I would suggest that you do. Now, that doesn't mean you have to go pay for courses. I guess you could, you know, you could also go the route of self-education, like reading books. And the number seven way to become an expert is the continuation of coaching. You have to continuous, continuously get coaching. Uh, you know, there's no athlete in the world that doesn't get continuous coaching, even when they're an expert, even when they're in the NFL, if they're NBA, they still get continuous coaching, right? Why? Because they need it and they know they need it to stay ahead and to stay on top of their game. So you should always get continuous coaching. Again, expensive. I know I've already covered that, um, but that's part of um, the group coaching that you'll get part of, that you'll become part of in the Mastermind membership if you get access to the Kaizen Masterclass. Now, I know I've kind of covered some here, but I'm going to really just kind of give you some background on what I am talking about here. If you are interested in getting into the Kaizen Masterclass and automatically being put into the Business Mastermind membership for life, 
then I want you to go into the description below. There'll be a link there. You can click and check it out. Uh, check out the website. I have a complete website detailing the Kaizen Masterclass. There's really should be no confusion after looking at that. Make sure you read the entire page to make sure the class fits your needs and go through the frequently asked questions, go through the peak inside the course. You can go in there and see what, you know, what's being offered right now. Um, and then I have a video over there as well explaining uh, the, the master class and then also giving you a peek inside, like taking you into the back end of the uh, dashboard and showing you how it looks and how it performs and what you're getting. Again, the great thing is I'm not kidding when I mention all of these things. Continuous coaching um, for life is, I mean, it's almost unheard of. Uh, getting the getting access to videos so you can go back and reference uh, anytime, anywhere, on any device, uh, and then also getting into the Mastermind membership where I am going to provide like group coachings and things like that, uh, just to keep folks abreast of of what's happening in the industry and to provide you with the tools and things that I've collected over the years. I have I have memory sticks full of things I've created and information, and I want to sh I wanted to have a hub where I could pull all that together. So that's what I'll be focused on over the next couple of weeks uh, so that we can start off 2022, 2022 strong. So if you're interested in building your career in 2022, it's never been a better time than to be part of not just this YouTube channel, but starting to getting into the community of that masterclass, that Kaizen masterclass, and then the uh, the membership, the Business Improvement Mastermind membership. All, right, all of it designed to help you out um, because, uh, you know, again, I love doing these YouTube videos, but it's a lot of times they're eight minutes, you know, 10 minutes long, and I got to keep it really short and sweet um, to keep people interested. But when I, but the folks that are really interested in building their careers, uh, I want to put a little more attention on what's needed inside that membership. Anyway, those are just a few things you can do to become a Kaizen expert. I wanted to give those to you, but, um, you know, sorry if this seems like a shameless plug for the Kaizen Masterclass and the Business Improvement Mastermind membership, but, you know, I know those things are going to help folks. And sometimes when you know, you, when you know you have something that's going to help people, you you know, you just gotta you just gotta pitch it out there and and and, and see who's really interested in it. Uh, for the folks that have already gotten into the um, Kaizen Masterclass, thank you so much. You know, it helps support me, and it, it, I, I kept that class that course as as low in cost as I possibly could, um, but in, but high in value, and that was my intent. Um, but in any case, thank you so much for the support. Even if you don't decide to get in on the masterclass. I want to say thank you for the support on this channel. I'm um, wrapping up the end of 2021. It's going to be a great 2022. Um, and, uh, you know, I haven't hit 10,000 subscribers yet, but that's my fault. I haven't put, been putting out enough content. So I'll try to get better that next year. Oh, as always, thank you for watching and thank you so much for your support.